Today is the day. We are going to get Albedo today. After looking at our pity, we are currently at 46 pity for Albedo. And we are actually at 45 pity for the standard banner, so we're pretty much halfway on both of them to hard pity. I am AR25. Got a whole bunch of stuff lit up here. But uh, we're able to ascend our world, and I don't think I can even level up anymore until we do ascend our world. All right, I probably should have healed up my team before coming in here, but you know, we're, we'll live on the edge. It's fine. I don't think this is going to be too difficult for us. Of course, we're going to try and lure these guys outside because we don't need the Ruin Guard shooting at us at the same time as we're trying to deal with all these shields. So let's go out here. Ooh, not the Beyblade. Well, that was pretty easy. So let's move on to the next part. And I'm pretty sure at the end of this, you do have to fight the Electro Hypostasis. So it's a really good thing that we have Bennett because that would have sucked. I don't know if Kaya can break those. He might be able to. Of course, I'm referring to the little electro things that you have to be at the end of the electro hypostasis fight in order to actually defeat it. And it, oh, did I not do it in time? Did, wait, I didn't do it? Why did I not do that in time? Excuse me? Oh, oh okay, yeah, no, okay, sure. I mean, at least we beat it and we get some nice free loot and oh, that's what we like to see here. Now, one other thing that we can claim are some more free mo gems from MiHoYo. Speaking of free mo gems, you all like free mo gems, right? I mean, who doesn't? They're free pre mo gems, but you know what else is free that you could be enjoying right now? Raid Shadow Legends. I guarantee most of you have heard of the game, so what's stopping you from trying it out? In fact, there's a lot of reasons why right now is the perfect time to jump in with a link in the description below for PC and mobile devices. Obviously, if you're watching this, you already enjoy Genshin Impact, which features over 40 unique characters to play as. Now that's great and all, but Raid Shadow Legends has over 600 unique champions that you can use. What might you need all those characters for, you ask? Well, thank you for asking. They'll come in super handy against the newest clan boss coming to raid known as the Hydra. No, not that Hydra, this Hydra. This crazy fight pitcher champions against six different heads, all with unique attacks and effects. Some of these heads sound crazy to deal with, such as the Head of Mischief. It will target your champion with the most buffs, steal them, and apply them to all the other heads. Not to mention the Head of Wrath will weaken and provoke your team, and after you attack it 15 times, it'll gain the Vengeance buff, tripling its damage, so you'd better make every attack against it count. If that doesn't sound challenging enough, then let me tell you about the Head of Suffering. This head is the tankiest of them all and brings a new debuff called Pain Link, which causes your champions to take damage whenever you attack it. But that's just what three of the heads do. You also have to deal with the Head of Blight, which focuses on poison, the Head of Torment, which applies true fear to your team, and the Head of Decay, which makes it so that if you heal, you'll actually lose HP. Now that boss sounds like an absolute beast, but my favorite part of the game has to be the variety of champions. I like to collect as many as possible and build up my favorite looking ones. I know, I know there are metas that exist, but I like focusing on having fun, and that means using the champions I enjoy most. I mean, just look at this guy. It is literally Santa wielding a great sword. Also, if you follow esports at all, you may be familiar with Simple. He's the CSGO pro, and Raid has actually designed a champion based on him. The best part is, you can claim it for free if you play for 7 days between now and January 28th, so don't skip out because after the 28th, this champion will never be available again. Not to mention, there are tons of holiday events and activities currently going on as well. So hit the link down below or scan this QR code and you'll get an epic champion, Rector Drath, 200,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard so you can start summoning as soon as you're in game. All of this amazing loot will be waiting for you right here when you start playing, and it's just that simple. See what I did there? Click the link in the description to begin your adventure and start summoning today. Big thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. So one other thing I did off camera, I finished up all of the Animoculus collection and then I started collecting some of the Geoculus as well just to get a few more Primo gems as well as more stamina. But in order to see how this episode's going to go, can I call it an episode? In order to see how this video is going to go. Let's do some wishes right at the start because we do have a couple that we can do and that'll just set the mood for the entire video. Starting off very strong I see. All right part of me wants to wait until I could do a 10 pull on this banner but the majority of me is just saying no we're just gonna wish and hope for the best. Come on. Oh, we're getting some lag. That means purple at least. Okay, if that was gold, I would have lost my mind. But Bennett, see one? 
What? No, no, you're not even on the banner. What is it with this game and giving me the non-banner characters? Okay, we, we got to get lucky here. We're going to get Bennett C1. If this is a sign of how the whole video is going to go, I am not looking forward to this. Like, like really, why Toma? Of every character, why Toma? Couldn't have been Xing Cho? No, no, couldn't have been Xing Cho. That, that's someone I want. Why would it be Xing Cho? Bennett C1? No, why would they give me that? That's another character that I really want. They, they couldn't do that. I just realized that Toma is still on the team because I didn't take him off, but don't worry. He will never see the light of day, so you don't have to worry about it. And one of the worst parts is I can't even ascend him for a free wish because we have to get to Inazuma in order to do that. So it's really just a waste all around for us. Also, is it stupid that my highest leveled weapon and highest invested weapon is the Cinnabar Spindle now, which I don't even have Albedo to go with it, and without Albedo, it's not really a great sword, so I probably shouldn't be investing in it without the character. Also, I don't know what I should be spending my resin on, because I can't really ascend weapons that far since we're limited by the AR that we are. That <laughs> is a weird sounding sentence. And there's a part of me that's like, should I really be investing? Investing in weapons like this, like three star weapons, though I guess I probably should because it's not like I'm going to be getting any four or five star weapons anytime soon. Well, there you go, Kaya. You can also have a level 50 weapon now, so I hope that does something for you. You know what? I guess everyone's going to have a level 50 weapon because I already farmed all this stuff, and yet I still have. Oh, we don't have nearly enough of these. Looming here can already be ascended. You love to see it. Actually, this is really fitting because last time we started out with failing to fight the Cryo Registrine, so this time we did just level up our world, but let's see if it goes a little bit smoother. Oh, D still hits hard, or she, I don't really know what gender this flower would be. I'm gonna be honest, we're, we're doing more damage than last time, but is it really that much damage? No, not at all. All right. We were able to kill it this time. So that's pretty nice. And hopefully we get good drops. Okay, we got one of these. I think we need one more. Oh, they want me to make a wish before the right of descent. It's dissension, right? Dis dissension? Yeah, that sounds wrong. Well, I can definitely make a wish here. Oh, I mean, I can't actually make a wish, but no, 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 no. Who cares about your brother? Unless your brother's name is Albedo, I don't care about him. I wish that we get Albedo in a wish very soon. You know what? What? I am actually going to go out and collect Primo Gems so we can make a wish at one of these before we start this because it, it's literally, it's the place where you make a wish. So we need to go collect some Primos. There's a certain flower that Albedo seems to like because his ascension requires it and it only grows on Star Snatch Cliff. So we're going to go look for one of those as kind of an offering for him to come home. Albedo, this is your time. I wish for Albedo. Beto to come home. It's glowing. That means Zhongli, you're gonna help me bring Albedo home, right? <laughs> ah, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient adepti art known as spending money? All right, here we go, Albedo. I, I saw no lag. It's it's blue. That's blue is blue is not gold. I took a quick break to go do my daily commissions, and I think I deserve some sort of reward, like an albedo, for somehow getting one of these slimes up on top of the lamppost. Now, I really should go do the Rite of Dissension quest line, because I'm sure we'll get some primos out of that, plus that slowly makes us work our way towards Inazuma, and once we're there, we can ascend even more characters, and you know, that's, that's great and all. And here I am coming up to the budget Jade Chamber for some reason. I mean, I knew that there were chests up here, which is why I came. And now we get ourselves some nice primo. 50! 50 primos! Oh, it was very much worth coming up here. And can we do one wish? We can do a wish while we're at the top of this. Albedo, do you feel like coming home yet? No? Cool. Like, I seriously should go do that Rite of Dissension quest. I promise after I get this Shrine of Depth, I will go and do the Rite of Dissension quest line. Okay, okay, just one more, one more of these, and then, then Rite of Dissension. 100% Rite of Dissension right after this. I, I might have, might have, might have lied a little bit, but I mean, I had a key, so I figured I might as well use it. It's 40 Primo Gems, gets us closer to a wish, and we hit level 27. 
And with that, we have enough for one more blue. I mean, albedo. No. No, I mean blue. While we're in Mondstadt, I figure, you know, we might as well just kill the Cryo Registrine one more time so we can ascend Kaya because, you know, why not? There we go, our last Shavada Jade Fragment that we need for now. We're gonna need tons of them later, but this allows us to ascend Kaya. Uh, I was trying to get to this last waypoint because it makes it so much easier when you're trying to travel the leeway, and I'm hoping that this doesn't happen. Now, somewhere up here, there is a Geoculus. I'm not really sure what- <laughs> Now we have this waypoint, which allows us to get to the upper area of Leeway much easier. But uh, I want to get this chest first. Ooh, I am sure glad that they waited for me to start the whole Rite of Dissension ceremony. Because, I mean, I went on like a whole weekend trip around the map and they still waited. Oh, and it's daytime somehow. Oh, these are always fun. The sneaky- Sneaky bits? Watch how stealthy we have to be for this. I'm not gonna crouch once. Oh, see how stealthy I am? It's crazy. I'm just so stealth. Oh, you didn't see me. I, okay, I, I might have gotten a little too cocky there. It's okay. Round two. Look at that. These people are blind. <laughs> how do you not? Oh. Never mind, I'm just gonna- Oh! This man just did a 360 no scope and saw me. That's crazy. Alright, alright, speed run. Speed run time. No one's gonna see me. We're gonna be too fast and too furious. But we are gonna uh, quickly stop to collect some flowers before we proceed on. We're okay, now we're good to go. Ooh, we get to talk to Rudolph. Just in time for the holiday season. Rudolph has a deeper voice than I remember. <laughs> That is exactly how I feel about not getting albedo yet. No, I hate this one. I don't want to play Great British Bake Off. Well, we just reported back to Child and we have enough for one more wish. Oh, I'm, I'm glad Zhang Li is here because as the Geo Archon, I need to have a word with him. He needs to tell Albedo to come home already. Oh, no. I just remembered that this Archon quest is like the ultimate fetching quest. You just go around and set up this whole ceremony and it takes forever. And it's just go get this. Go get this. Go talk to this person. Go talk to these people. Go get that. Go get this. Bring this back. Go get the. All right. So what if we don't do the Archon quest right now, but instead. Instead, go do this quest because this involves quite a bit of fighting as well as rewarding us with a good amount of XP and Primo gems. On top of all of that, I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing me struggle in here because I usually do struggle in this fight. Alright, let's see just how difficult this is going to be. flying enemy what no no what do i do what do i do what do i do it's flying it, it, it's cheating it's actually just cheating uh so what am i supposed to do here because it's not landing it's not really targeting me or the thing i'm supposed to be protecting it's just shooting non-stop into the sky and i can't touch it how dare these rocks fall close to me? Don't they know that I'm trying to just wait this out because I don't have anything else I can do here? Oh, there's a chest over here. That's nice. I want to see if I can uh, find a way to actually hit this thing. Oh, what? What just hit me? There is literally nothing there. That's so cool. I love this game sometimes.
Oh, 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 it's dead. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, I was, I was definitely paying attention there. That was a, that was a really easy 15 minute battle where, uh, you know, I, I fought very hard. I, it wasn't an easy battle. I take that back. That was, that was very difficult. I was, was on the brink of death the entire time. And it, it was one of the hardest fights of my life. I promise I wasn't just on my phone, not even paying attention. I, I would, I would never do that. Oh, don't we get an achievement for this? Wait, no. No, it missed me. It was supposed to hit me. Okay, we got to find another boar now. Is that one? Right there. Okay, you. What? How is it that they miss me when I want them to hit me? But then when I try to dodge them, I always get hit. The question is, will this be enough XP? It is. Okay. Okay, very nice. We can go get a free wish now. I don't know what I was looking at, but I swore there was an acquaint fate for level 28, though I guess it's just 75 primo gems. Uh, I mean, it, it's something, but that's not even a full wish. Luckily, we do have enough for one wish. You cannot tell me that this is a good source of a character, a good use of a character. Like, why? Why? <laughs> the Geo Traveler is just so annoying to use. It's good for, like, traversing the environment, sure. But in actual combat, I would much rather have the Animo Traveler. 100%. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Um,. How the heck did you just do that? This is just so annoying to use. Excuse me, Kaya, can you just climb through this window already? What? Um, okay, I uh, we'll we'll try this one, I guess. Can you can you just go inside? What? <laughs> What is happening? All right, here goes another attempt. Uh, it honestly, it's just just painful at this point. Ooh, I sure love fetching quests. They're my favorite. Talk to Madam Ping, if you insist. Hey, Madam Ping, how's it going? You enjoying that corner? I never heard someone refer to as Madam Ping, but if that's your name, then so be it. All right, are we uh, are we all ready for a bunch of oh ho hos? <laughs> <laughs> this this guy looks like me every time I wish in this game. Oh, who needs Shao? Look at this. So who needs Shao? You just need a staircase and you can have Shao anywhere you want. Well, not anywhere. You, you kind of need a staircase. All right. So maybe, maybe the secret is that Albedo likes dendro users right we have enough for exactly one wish listen i am i'm desperate here i'm i'm just i'm going off anything oh hey it's purple it's c1 bennett right c1 bennett that that's no that's fine that's that, okay cool soda soda oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> After mindlessly spamming through cutscenes, it apparently I got to the point where we are actually going to have a fight. I'm not gonna lie, kind of worried about this. We have three characters and I don't think are they all 50? Hold on. 50, 50, 40. Oh, fantastic. So uh, we have we have two level 50s and a level 40 and what level is this? Oh, 37. We should be fine. All right, Mr. Tartaglia, let's see just how much you can or cannot do to my team of all swords. You know what? You know what? He's kind of like a fake sword user when you think about it, right? Because I mean, he kind of uses, he uses a bow, but it transforms into a sword. So he's an imposter. As such, he must be defeated. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that was- oh! Oh, okay. L little odd there, but th this is really easy so far, so we'll see if his third phase is actually a challenge for us. Look at this guy. He gets mad because he can't get what he wants. Stop acting like a child. Haha. <laughs> ha. <laughs>
Um, well, that was, for lack of a better term, child's play. What are the odds? Handing over your gnosis? That's a rookie move. Well, there is the Geo Archon's quest line completed, and do we do we get anything good for that? We get anything juicy? We get uh, something? Get thirty Primo gems? That is that it? Is that we can't we can't do a wish to celebrate? Oh oh! But this the Dainsleaf his his quest is in here. Dainsleaf's quest. That that's a hard name to say. Plural. Dainsleafs. Well, not plural, but p possessive. Well, his quest is in here, and we can do it for sixty. Primo Primo gems. So yes, that that's up next. Wait, 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 wait. Dainsleaf. Dainsleaf is a sword user, isn't he? I mean, I know he's not in game yet. We don't know literally anything about him other than what we've seen in game. But like, he he wields a sword, doesn't he? Can we get Dainsleaf on our team? <laughs> oh, look, it's my favorite thing. Characters currently involved in other quests. Who is it? Lawrence is busy with the Legend of the Dark Knight hero. Woohoo! Are we serious? I just came to start the Legend of the Dark Knight Hero because we needed to do it, and now Wagner is busy completing the quest Minecraft. Why is Wagner playing Minecraft? While we're talking to Wagner, I mean, we might as well craft up an iron sting. Obviously, it's not all that great yet. Why is it that crafting a sword takes a couple seconds? But if you want to make a table in your teapot, that'll take you like, I don't know, 16 to 24 hours. It, it seems reasonable. We we have successfully completed Minecraft, so now we can get back to doing- Really? Really? Wait, 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 wait. So it wouldn't let me do this quest because someone was busy with the Dark Knight Hero. And then I couldn't do Dark Knight Hero because Wagner was busy with Minecraft. Then I did the Minecraft and now we can't do Dark Knight Hero, but we can do Dainsleaf's quest? I will never understand how these questing systems work. Hey Dainsleaf, hey Dainsleaf, you want to, uh, you want to join my team? I, I'm pretty sure you wield a sword and I don't know if you've heard, but you know, I've kind of kind of been using sword characters, so if, if you're looking for a team, you know, just just hit me up. All right, I know I usually say I don't like to upload the same kinds of videos multiple days in a row, so after this one, there will be small little breaks in between like one or two videos between videos of this series, if you want to call it a series. The reason that I've been uploading this a lot more is one, because you guys seem to enjoy it, two, because I need to grind for the Albedo banner, and if I'm working on other videos, it's hard to also grind grind on this account at the same time. And then number three, of course, just comes down to scheduling, which I guess kind of combines the others plus some other reasons that I'm not going to get into. But needless to say, I want to continue this series. You guys seem to like it, but I also want to upload some content that I know other people enjoy on the channel as well. So I actually had even more recorded on this account already, but I'm going to save that for the next video because this one's already getting a little bit long. So if you did enjoy it and you enjoy watching me suffer, feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed already because you'll get to watch me suffer almost on a daily basis. 